Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Give it another firm tug. Good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends.
Carefully, place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Give it another firm tug. Good job. Now place the hat while we're at it. Let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, Press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Give it another good job. Now place the hat in the lo While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Je carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button. Now remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin.
Welcome back to Parts and Service. It look Freddy's got a pretty good job. Now place the hat while we well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the... Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no, you seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended.
Hello? Can you hear me? Don't exit this room, okay? This isn't a mistake. This room isn't a mistake. I had to hide these logs away from the core gameplay files in a place that only a beta tester would look and in a place where the files could be protected. I just really, really hope that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. This game has some kind of malicious code in it that we haven't been able to fully contain or even understand for that matter. We're over budget and out of time. But that's not the reason that we're shutting down. Listen, I have to keep this short so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. There are more. They may not be in order. I saw it for the first time today. There was a character I couldn't make out who it was, standing at the end of the hall. I thought it was just bugged out, so I made a note of it and kept playing. But then it was looking in the window, and not like Chica or Bonnie would. It was like it was actually looking in the window, seeing what I was doing. I heard a pretty heated conversation this morning between Dale, our manager, and someone else on the line. It really feels like this project is in trouble, in no small part because of the lawsuit, I'm sure. There has to be a lawsuit. There's no way there isn't. It happened in this building just a few doors down from me. I think it's made worse by the fact that Jeremy tried to tell us something was wrong. But as a dev team, we all just saw it as a challenge to find what the problem was and fix it. Who could have known that? I have to go. Have you ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? It sounds made up, but it's an actual piece of office equipment. I didn't even know we had one in the supply room. I guess the more common at businesses that do a lot of graphic design work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, I knew how dangerous it looked. I was always afraid of losing a finger. That seems so silly now. Jeremy used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. You're doing a great job, and no doubt having a great time as well. As a reminder, please be sure to only interact with core gameplay elements and avoid anything that could potentially be considered a glitch, mistake, or embedded message from unauthorized personnel. Thank you.